Hey everybody, welcome back to Learn Stuff. My name is Mackenzie and this week I'm gonna show you five different techniques that I use to really enhance and speed up my editing process. Let's get started. Now before we jump in, I just want to quickly say on behalf of everyone here at B Media, we hope you all are having a wonderful Thanksgiving weekend. We hope you all are spending wonderful quality time with your family and eating some really good food. The first thing I want to show you guys is the best way to really cut a multi-camera sequence. And so we're going to jump into our timeline and we're going to get started. So as you see here, I have some source files, and uh, when I drop it down, there's multiple different clips and an audio file. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit com I'm gonna hit shift, and I'm just gonna click on the first and last clip, and that highlights them all. And then I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna go to create multi-camera sequence source or source sequence. And uh, I'm gonna name it here, interview sequence, and you have multiple different options you can do, and you can synchronize it based off of in and out points, uh, the time code, sound time code, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sync it up based off of audio, and I'm gonna make sure it's on track channel one. All of this is basically information that you don't really need, unless you're really gonna make some very pinpoint decision, or very pinpoint edits. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press OK and what it's doing is it's preparing all the different video and audio files and it's gonna sync them all up into one single viewer so that you can easily cut in between each one. All right, it's finished processing now and now you can see here it put them all into a processed clips folder and then it also created this little file. And so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna insert this into, oh, whoops, I'm gonna insert this into our timeline. And so as you can see here, it brought up one of the videos, but how can I tell where all the other videos are? So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna hit uh, Shift Zero. And what that does is that brings up a multi-viewer. And so what you can see here is you can really update up to uh, nine clips. I think you can even go past nine clips of different, uh, of different angles and, and different views of the scene that you're shooting and really cut it efficiently. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the space bar and I'm gonna start playing the, the footage. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the numbers on my keyboard as if this is cam one that's highlighted right now. And then you can see here um, cam two, cam three, and this is cam four. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut to cam four and then I'm gonna cut back to cam one and then I'm gonna cut back to cam four. And I'm gonna cut back to cam one. And so as you can see here, once I stopped the video, it automatically put those different camera angles into the viewer. And if I just press shift commands or shift zero again, it brings up the full viewer and you can see the multiple different camera angles. The second thing I'm gonna show you guys is how to easily change your audio from mono to stereo. When I started in uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, I would try all these different ways to adjust the audio to make it so that it was stereo and not mono. And there's a very, very simple way to do this within Premiere Pro. So we're gonna jump into our timeline and we're gonna get started. I have an audio file here that I know is in mono. And so what I'm actually gonna do, and you can see here in the information window that it says mono. So what I'm actually gonna do is before I even drag it into my sequence, I'm gonna right click it and I'm gonna go up to modify audio channels. And what that does is it brings up a window that allows it so that you can switch your audio from mono to stereo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click stereo right here on clip channel format. I'm gonna click the right as in the right channel. So if you're listening through headphones, you have the left channel and you have the right channel. And so I'm gonna make sure that what's playing on the left channel is also playing on the right channel. I'm gonna press okay. And so now when I drag this into my timeline, you can clearly see here it is on both channels. And so that's a really easy way for you to be able to change from mono to stereo. And um, the way I used to do it uh, when I first started learning Premiere Pro was I would go into my uh, effects folder and I would type in fill 
left with right and fill right with left. And for some reason, for some audio sources, this process doesn't work. And so what you're going to need to be able to do is learn how to be able to use the audio channels before you actually import it into your timeline. So the third thing I'm going to show you guys is how to use hotkeys in your source viewer to allow it so that you can put footage into your timeline a lot quicker. If that doesn't make sense, I'm going to show you guys right now. So what you can do is if you're watching the video, you can press the I button for the in and the O button for the out. And so what you can either do is drag this for just the video or drag this button for just the audio, or you can just drag the whole clip for both audio and video, but if I just want to put both audio and video in, instead of sitting there and dragging clips, I can just press the comma key on my keyboard. And so what that allows is wherever your time code is, and so wherever your scrubber is, you can insert these clips and really make it a lot quicker. The fourth thing I'm showing you guys is how to be able to efficiently cut a space in between a long clip. So let's jump into our timeline. So what I have here is I have a long interview that I'm cutting and I wanna cut out all the sections where the interviewer is asking the questions. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a little spot here, I'm gonna press C and I'm gonna cut that little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut over here where I want to um, have them start talking again. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna highlight the clip and I'm just gonna press Option Delete on all the little sections that I wanna delete. And as you can see, instead of having it do this where there's a long black space, what I do is if I just highlight this and press Command Delete, is it brings the two clips together immediately, making it a jump cut. The fifth thing I'm going to show you guys is how you can easily separate video and audio clips. So let's jump into our timeline and get started. So as you can see here, we're back in our interview section. And so what I'm going to do is I am actually just going to delete these and reset and bring in a new interview file. Yeah. And so as you can see here, every single time I click on this clip, it highlights both the audio and the video. If I don't want that to happen, what I can do is easily hit Command L. And so what that does is that separates the audio and the video so that you can easily just move them around wherever you want on the timeline without having them both be merged together. And so those are the five basic things you can use to really enhance your editing speed. Be sure to leave a like on this video if you guys enjoyed it. Hit subscribe, comment down below if you guys have any questions. Be sure to head on over to our Twitter and give us a nice follow. My name is Mackenzie Beebe and we'll see you all here next week.